Our next speaker for the day is Harsha Alman, Managing Director, Talent and Organization. Welcome, Harsha. Uh, do come and present. The stage is all yours. Thank you so much for the confirmation. And hello, everyone. I hope you're doing great. And um, it's such a fantastic opportunity to be celebrating inclusion and diversity. And I'm super thrilled to be speaking with all of you and representing my firm, Accenture. Uh, in the conversation that we'll have today, let me maybe start off by introducing myself. I'm going to minimize the screen. Yeah. All right. So my name is Harsha Almar, Managing Director with the Talent and Organization Practice within Accenture. Been here for almost 14 years and absolutely love the experiences Accenture has been able to provide me with a thrilling uh, career in consulting. Um, I started my career in Accenture as a new practice and then I moved to Accenture in India in 2011. And since then, I've been working very closely with our India geography and various initiatives related to inclusion and diversity. So when I did have a chance to come and represent the work that Accenture does in this space, it was a dream come true. And I'm really very thrilled to be speaking with all of you. What we'll do today is in the next 20 minutes or so, let me start off by talking a bit about Accenture and how Accenture in India, it truly is enabling a lot of change when it comes to inclusion and diversity topics. Um, and then maybe do a left click on specifically the leadership and development initiatives that Accenture has undertaken uh, for IND. Um, as a talent and organization professional, I'm even more delighted to be speaking on this topic because this is something that often my clients ask and I'm uh, often uh, very thrilled to talk about how Accenture is really um, uh, you know, doing heartbreaking work in the inclusion and diversity space. So this would be the flow of our conversation today. And towards the end, of course, we'll have some Q&A. So let me start off by talking about how with Accenture, inclusion and diversity starts from the top. And truly in our case, it does. Because when you talk about it, our CEO, Julie Sweet, she's a lady, trade blazer, Rekha Menon, a chairman and a senior managing director in India, who's so deeply entrenched um, in, uh, you know, um, with this topic on, on, on multiple initiatives where she's holding board level positions, right? Also doing trailblazing work. And of course, our, um, our IND sponsor for Accenture in India, Shannon Jab Hardwich. The fact is at Accenture, when it comes to inclusion and diversity, um, we have made sure that right from the top, when it starts from the board itself, you can see that there is a strong commitment to having women having a seat at the table, right? As I mentioned, and we can clearly see over here. We've also made sure that when it comes to, you know, policies or practices, we've enabled that in our ecosystem uh, in, in a lot of different ways, right? In terms of the initiatives that we do, in terms of which we are transparently sharing the gender equality numbers. I think uh, definitely this is a great way in which we can show that, yes, we are committed to this very important topic. So with that, maybe let me talk a bit about, you know, how when we're talking about the talent uh, and accelerating talent, equality for all is such a core element where we make sure that uh, the, the candidates that we have, the, the inclusion and diversity, it makes everyone as a part of the ecosystem. Mind you that with Accenture, the workforce that we have of more than 200,000, it's not an easy feat, right? And hence, there's a need for making sure that we have a framework which includes all the core elements for inclusion and diversity. You're talking about an organization which runs across various industries, working with different clients in different sectors, different offices, and of course the global connections that we have. So what's fundamentally needed is a model, a way in which we can equally facilitate the key dimensions that are needed to ensure that R&D is, is very well embedded. And on the right hand side, that's the model that, that we follow for R&D. Right. Um, from an internal part, we start off with bold leadership. I'm really proud to share, say that Accenture is one of the first organizations who perhaps even took a diversity commitment in terms of number and is absolutely marching towards that way, right? So being bold in ambitions definitely is a great way, in, in, in way to approach it. Taking comprehensive action, right? Making sure that this bold ambition, bold leadership translates into action be it in terms of you know, learning opportunities, career framework opportunities, um, uh, different opportunities in terms of working with that ecosystem, making sure that you're putting somebody with a seat at the table and creating a level playing field 
is super important. And that's also something that we focused on. The third element is about clients and our partners. Again, as I said, it's really great to see that oftentimes my clients are asking, hey, how does Accenture address um, inclusion and diversity? And it's a delight to be talking about some of our practices um, and, and, and sharing our experiences, right? So we work with our clients also jointly on some of those initiatives. And finally, building the empowering environment, right? You have to make sure that you're setting the ecosystem itself for success. And that is something that we are able to take comprehensive action, working with our various teams, your employee relations team, our legal team, our marketing team, making sure that all of these enablers are taking in, uh, into account. And then finally, we are extremely connected with our external organizations, be the, the government, be the suppliers. And, and this comprehensive you know, framework really helps us achieve the, 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 super, uh, the, the ambitions that we have. Yeah. Moving on, let me take a, a moment to recognize that when we are talking about diversity, there are different um, elements which constitute full comprehensive diversity. We've got gender diversity, we've got faith diversity, we've got caregivers that we need to take care of, right? And our model absolutely ensures that we're looking at all these important levers to have a holistic approach to address diversity. I want to specifically emphasize that in this COVID pandemic that we're living, Accenture has focused or zoomed in on the health and mental wellness really well. Um, coming from the consulting workforce, I've absolutely seen that, you know, as we're delivering um, uh, our results and our, our outcomes and value to our clients, the, the firm has also stepped up in terms of checking in with us, making sure that the sessions such as Mental, mental health uh, wellness checkups, um, having uh, mobile-based apps, which remind us that there are different ways in which we can connect or having you know, a personal coach, the different ways in which we are able to make sure that we are taking care of our most valued asset, which is our people. And that, 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 that I think is, is definitely great. Um, now let me do a left click on the women's learning and development agenda, which is the core topic for today's discussion. Um, Accenture's approach, again, um, towards this is some sort of a framework, if you will. We've got three solid pillars on which we anchor our L&D programs for women. And there's a very solid foundation which makes sure that these pillars stand strong and stand tall. The first pillar is around career and professional development, which makes sure that you know, we are focusing on topics which um, are intentionally creating programs which focus on the career building and opportunities for women to excel in their career, right? Uh, be it programs such as developing our women, uh, accelerate our careers, intentionality of careers. These are some of the programs which have a specific target audience, um, duration of the program and specific impact area that has been identified that we need to uh, uh, deliver for, for that program. For example, on intentionality of, of careers program, it's a beautiful program which focuses on women across all levels, where there are about eight modules of virtual coaching and training that we provide them on different topics on how they can intentionally navigate their careers through planned and unplanned changes in life, right? And this is great because the message that we're giving here is that through the changes in life, which we do have as women, right? You can successfully navigate your career at Accenture. We've seen that this program has been very well appreciated and I've personally seen feedback from my team quite strong on this topic. Let me talk about the second pillar, which is around skill specific development. How do we make sure that we're giving women the necessary skills that are required to perform their role and beyond? Now, in the current ecosystem in India as a very hot talent market, this is a very important topic. And programs like these are super important to make sure that we're not losing half of the workforce. There are about there's several programs, but the name mentioned here are in the group women in leadership roles, which you know I've had the pleasure of being a beneficiary of, how we develop our leadership skills, the communication skills, um, right? Uh, again, career level specific uh, connections, mentoring have been a great opportunity for women to build their skills. The career reboot learning program also has yielded fantastic outcomes for more than a thousand plus uh, participants. This was specifically targeted for a women in our operations workforce, bringing them back to the workforce at a certain role 
giving them the right learning paths, making sure that they're bringing in the right skills that are required for them to deliver at that, uh, at that junction for that role and helping them stream through forward. The third pillar is around across the board, which again makes sure that the second two, that the first two pillars are well supported, right? How do you provide on the go, on demand coaching via learning boards, making that available, or via the everyday work platform where they can have the right connections, right? Have coaching for them as well. Um, the skill soft learning program that we have, and also maternity support. Now the maternity support, again, um, uh, the results have been fantastic. We at Accenture find that 96% of our moms do come back to work. And I'd like to attribute a lot of that to possibility, possibly the ecosystem that we've set, set up, right? And that's something that I've personally experienced. And I've also seen that for my teams, right? The kind of support that we extend here makes you want to come back. And that's, that's been brilliant. As I mentioned, the, the, the three pillars, you know, sit quite tightly on the foundation of awareness and sensitization, which basically is targeting to, toward the ecosystem and making sure that gender equality is something which is not targeted at women, but we work with the ecosystem to focus and work along with each other. So be it even at the interview stage where we have unconscious bias training, uh, training for all our uh, uh, interviewers, or be it you know, specific programs such as men as gender advocates, which is a superb program. And the feedback I've received from many of my colleagues is that, you know, uh, through programs like, you know, Men as Gender Advocates, you actually are sharing some of the experiences that possibly um, many of our male counterparts might not have thought of, right? Um, especially in the pandemic, for example, how do you balance your work duties along with your house duties? Um, such programs are, are very well appreciated and the Men as Gender Advocates, we've had about 13,000 plus uh, men um, uh, successfully uh, trained or uh, taken this program. And again, great feedback that we have received. So again, the, the, the whole framework itself makes sure that we are focused, we are targeted, right? We're bringing the entire ecosystem together and um, yeah, delivering outcomes. And, and, and that's where we are here, right? What is the impact for Accenture and what Accenture can provide externally as well? So at Accenture, more than 40% of, of, of our workforce here in, uh, in India are, are, are women. And we are marching quite strongly towards the 50-50 uh, target that we have. All 100% of our women, right, they have taken a leadership and development program in 2020. Greater than 20% of our women are managing directors. Um, and 70% of um, the, the India women, they have under, underwent any leadership program at, uh, at Accenture. I mean, as a recipient, again, of these, um, programs, it's, it's just been wonderful. And the feedback that we get our teams is great. We also have very recent, like received uh, many name mentions, but again, the one that I'm sharing on the slide over here is about, you know, how um, the, the, in, the initiatives that we have done in l and definitely are well appreciated in our ecosystem as well. The feedback um, as, you know, we've included some snippets here has been great. But for me personally, is the gratification in seeing how we hold each other's hands and walk each other together right towards the finish line that yes, together we can do it um, and, uh, and, and make sure that, you know, we're not leaving behind a very important and critical workforce um, within the country. So I would like to thank everyone.